So we've been to the vets. Apart from the fact that Gemma booked us into the wrong one, not the one where Chance goes to, there's no problems there. Uh, so the dog's in the house. He's happy. Um, but I thought I'd show you a new project that I've started. Hence the reason I brought this home today because the bar is no longer as you can probably see. So uh, let me just pour a nice pint for the evening. It's now half past six and we'll talk about it briefly. People complain about John Smith's. How's that? A lovely pint of vacant gesture. Let me just wet my whistle. Ah, oh, that's drinking well. Right, so those of you who have been following me, yes, me, hello, for a long time will have seen when I built this contraption. Yes. And uh, basically, this was a six keg cooling chamber. Well, it could, really, it could squeeze eight corners in there, but I never had eight. And uh, it had three taps on it, on a top board up there. You've all seen it on the earlier videos. And well, we are outgrowing the house rapidly, so we kind of need to expand out into the porch a little bit. And in order to do that, we really need to get this floor down. So this wasn't originally meant to be an extension of any kind. It was just the, you know, round the side of the house. As you can see, that's the actual back door uh, to get into the back garden. And I popped this lean-to on just so we could put a few fridges and whatnot out here. And so I could house my beer taps without having to go either into the old brewery, which is around here this is what's left of him yeah I've moved a lot of stuff into here just to give us some space while we renovate because that's basically what's going on here and um, yeah I just wanted access to the beer really when I started home brewing and having it on tap at home back in back in the day uh, but things have changed a little bit since then of course um, I did this when I was, I'd just come out of university and uh, it was just after the financial crash, I was in the building trade before then, it was all, well, destroyed effectively and I managed to do this on a very, very tight budget indeed. You know, I don't think I was bringing home £100 a week back then and it was very tight the heyday, the early days of Idle Valley Brewery, no less. And uh, well, every day's a school day. I learnt a lot through that experience and process. And even though we can't afford to move into a bigger house, um, the plan is, while we are here, we want to be a little bit more comfortable. So all this floor is going to be um, raised and boarded and levelled. We're going to build a worktop into this side here with some storage underneath and then I'm going to double board the roof to give a little bit more insulation and there's work on the outside of this to be done as well and basically it all is going to be a, uh, a Christmas holiday project I suppose if I can get this done before Christmas day then I'm going to have <laughs> you know a miracle of Lazarus proportions one might say So we've got a few bits removed, but I thought it was worth showing you this. So we've got this great big backboard here, which kind of just blocked uh, the the edge of the lean-to off, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm just going to pull it away and show you what it's hiding. Well, it looks like I tricked myself there, so it's basically just the external wall. But previous to that, we did have the heat exchange for the cooler that was in here so let's just see if 
I converted it and I popped the heat exchange down the back. See if we can get close enough to have a look. I think it is in there, look. So let's just pull that off and uh, it looks like it was small enough and compact enough to go behind there so maybe that's what I've done with it. But previously there was a big one on there to radiate all the heat out of here. So here we can see a little bit more. This is the evaporator that gets cold and then obviously during the summer months you get quite a lot of condensation on there so I put this drip tray in which then ran into that container which I could empty periodically maybe once a week or so and then down the back you can see yes if I'm a little bit destructive with this and I think I can be oh look at this lot <laughs> I've done all sorts of ways of attaching this well, can I pull it off it should only be plasterboard holding it on and there you can see oh, that's the condenser side so uh, that's where the heat radiates out into the atmosphere or back up here if you like and then pull it to one side bingo bango the compressor with its start capacitor and indeed the back wall really is quite a mess if you look at it all isn't it anyway let's get rid of this and see what we're left with well there we go the bar is no more it's been completely ripped out see if I can give you an idea of scale I mean this is around one and a half meters about five foot across and we've got about four foot opening which is also about three and a half, four foot deep. And then it goes up into, yeah, everything else. Uh, I did find a little bit of a relic. Uh, low ABV blonde with Amarillo. See if we can focus down on this. Uh, 23rd of the 8th, 2014. Uh, check that out, Amarillo Gold. Obviously the wrong hop, it's Amarillo these days, isn't it? Anyway. There we go. So lots and lots of projects going on. Obviously the brewery is at full tilt for Christmas time and of course we've got a new puppy in the house. Christmas is there to be dealt with as well. And well, I've given myself another project here, but it need to be it needs to be done. Either way, either way. Uh, so I'm hoping I can get as many vlogs up for you guys as possible. Uh, there is inevitably going to be a dry spell here and there but stick with me don't go anywhere and make sure you're subscribed so you'll know straight away when the next one goes up particularly if you click that little bell icon anyway folks I'm gonna wrap it up for today it's getting a bit late and a little bit nippy so I'm gonna bugger off indoors and I'll see you on the next one cheers